not going to ignore the elephant in the room. I haven't been making a lot of videos lately. Part of it's because I'm moving halfway around the world and I don't know what to make videos about other than moving. Currently we're on an airplane, we're about to land in Osaka, Japan. So I'll make a video about that. The sink in the bathroom soaked your hands, washed your hands, and dried your hands. All in one sink. I'm currently doing what any good human being would do when they're in a town that they don't know. Find the nearest 7-Eleven. What can I find at a 7-Eleven in Osaka, you might ask? Zima, the freshest beverage known to mankind. Discontinued in the United States due to lack of sales. Zima. I honestly don't even know if I've ever had a Zima, or if I have it. Maybe it was expired, maybe I've had an expired Zima. Tastes like Sprite. Tastes like slightly less sweet Sprite. Okay, so we're trying this like sake thing. Ah, uh, one second. It's this stuff right here. It's so good that you can only find it at fine establishments like 7-Eleven. It's clear. Kind of smells like sake. I haven't had a whole lot of sake. It's very mildly sweet, but it's not very dry. But it reminds me of this stuff that we drank one night out of this Korean place in Bangkok. And there was just Korean men everywhere around us sitting around tables just getting shit-faced off of this stuff. I could see maybe how you could get drunk off of it. It's fairly low in alcohol. It's only like 14%, which is about what an average wine would be. It's got a kind of unique flavor. It's like alcoholic rice water. Which I'm gonna guess that that's exactly what it is, so. Another thing from last night's run to 7-Eleven is Saku Saku corn. I'm gonna give it a try. I don't even know if it exists anymore, but if you've ever had King Vitamin Cereal, which is kind of like a generic Captain Crunch, but it had its own flavor and I like it more than Captain Crunch. It smells a lot like King Vitamin Cereal. Best thing about a box of King Vitamins is you got a mask on the back you cut out. Whoa, whoa. Nope. The first like half a second. It's like, oh, it tastes just like King Vitamin, and then it's like, boom, here's something else. It's like all of Japan packed into like one flavor. All it says is it's made from carefully selected ingredients. I'm gonna do another one, see if it tastes any better the second time around. They're terrible. Get my hands like a seaweedy. Man, these things are awful. She didn't make it, for those of you wondering at home. For sure. Oh my god, King Vitamin. And then now you're like, oh god, get it out of my mouth. I expected it's something- like, It's like Fritos, but- I don't know if now anybody can eat these. It's like your fork. <laughs> Allie, do you want to try one of these? All right. Here you go. Put it in the, the mush maker. And the skull cave. How? Oh. How you, how's that flavor of Japan? You like it? Yeah? Really? Alright, kid tested, mom approved, dad despised. So I bought both of these. Uh, one is grape, one is grapefruit, maybe, I think? But in this installment of Sam Tries Japanese Things, I'm gonna go with the grape. Man, I like grape stuff. And it says it's 9% alcohol, which... <laughs> oh no, the grape one's 8%. 8%, sorry, I'm... It's like, it's like, uh, strong zero light. No, it's not like four loco, it's just like, uh... It's just an alcoholic grape beverage <laughs> that has 8% alcohol. The only reason I know it has 8% alcohol is the only things it says on it in English are strong zero, pictures of grapes, 190, negative 196 Celsius. That's a lot of writing. I don't even know what that means or how, but then it also says 8% alcohol. Hmm. It's very grapey. I think I need a second opinion. Let's ask Laura what it tastes like. I'd like to preface this with the fact that Laura drinks pretty much nothing but wine and the occasional whiskey soda. The 
first taste, it's like very aspirin-y it's almost. Like, it's like children's aspirin grape flavor. Yeah, yeah. It kind it's of disgusting. It tastes. It tastes like. Uh, oh god, I need wine. All right. <laughs> yeah, we're all right. Oh, that flavor is almost unovercomable. I'm really trying to nail it down to like a real description, like other than crushed aspirin. Laura wants to go another step further. She wants to try the 9%. I think this is grapefruit, but there's also like maybe lemon. Maybe it's lemon and orange. Maybe it's just citrus in general. This is 9% alcohol. I'll let Laura do the first. <laughs> Come in here, babe. It smells okay. It smells okay. It, it smells sm like squirts. It, it smells like squirts. It smells like more orange than... It smells like grapefruit, but with orange. Good. You took a second sip, so it can't be that bad. No, it is. I had, to, I had to really know that it was that bad. <laughs> Atlee, how's your banana? It's good. It's good. Atlee's banana's good. <laughs> it's not a fine French wine, Sam. It's a 7-Eleven, 196 negative degrees. Fresca. Fresca. Mm-hmm. And somehow more crushed up aspirin. There might not be any sh This actually might be sugar-free. Vegetables? Because everything that has grams next to it says zero. So there might not be sugar. So where there, where there is lacking sugar, they replaced with crushed Alcohol aspirin. and crushed up aspirin. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to throw it away. No, I might throw this one away. This one's really bad. This one is just tolerable enough to not throw away. <laughs>